May 9th um, town board workshop where uh, this is now voted on an idea that is the kind of, uh, I don't know, I was motivated by what has happened on the planning board and zoning board uh, the last 18 months where we went through two meetings a month, one meeting, and it really has been successful. The efficiencies of it, and I, I guess I started thinking, if we can just be town board. We go from potentially four meetings a month uh, for a second, third, fourth Thursdays, and truncated down to two meetings a month, uh, the first and third Thursdays of the month. So we came in uh, at night and presented some things in the board. I think we had a pretty good discussion that night. And um, I guess I was given my marching orders by the board that we'll go and get us some stats. We can get an idea of how long is an average, you know, workshop the last few years. How long is an average town board regular meeting, and that might help guide us on if we move toward doing one or two nights a month. When we start the workshop, followed by when we start the regular meeting. So I don't know if it's up on the screen right now. It is. Yes, it is. Um, the, the, there is the results of the marching orders. Um, with some various verbiage there, and I guess um, I think the town board got this email about it yesterday, so I hope I'll, I'll shut my mouth and let you comment, question, and, and things for that. Well, it seems to me that we could go to two meetings a month, and it looks like based upon the duration of the workshops that. Uh, 6.30 might be the opportune time to start. So I'm done with that. Now, I was surprised that Webster was the only town that met for their space a month and that other towns only met once or twice. I, I, I genuinely thought everybody met every week in every single town and did things the same thing. I always thought the same thing, but then everybody says to me, you meet every Thursday? Yeah. They're incredulous that, that we do. Um, Tom, thanks for doing the research on it and the length of meetings. Um, I, I knew you'd be on that. I, um, I, I, I got to say that that's Bridget and Kim Doyle. I, Bridget and Kim, thank you for assisting I, the supervisor in that and uh, making him look good. Uh, I, I think it makes sense. I think it's a great plan. And, and I like the thought that you've given to if we continue with the 7.30 scheduled regular meeting. Um, you know, there are times when we don't have much meat on the bone for a workshop. Mm -hmm. And that gives us the opportunity to perhaps schedule that a little bit later. Um, it makes sense to me. I have a question for Charlie. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> to Penny's point, we don't have a lengthy agenda for the workshop. Can we, ahead of time, change the start time of the workshop from a legal perspective so long as we get at least 24 hours? Oh, sure. Hours? Okay. Sure. All right. You know, there, that's the, I think I sent out a memo some time ago and about what's really required by law. Yeah. And uh, there's really not a requirement that you uh, even publish an agenda, for example. Right. That's something we do, we've always done, it's been our practice, and mm -hmm. obviously, probably a good idea. Um, no, to answer your question, if, if there's something that comes up that you want to change, you can change the entire time meeting prior to a regular meeting, change it from 6.30 to 7, you can right. a few things out, or change it just to 7.30, and uh, do it out. Okay, thank you. And that, and Charlie, I mean, from a lot of that was the, the regular town board meeting is the one that if we said if they would start at 7.30. We can't start them at 7.25 or 7.20. We really need to start those at 7.30. We can start them a couple minutes late and not be breaking any legalities. But we can't start out right at Well, the, the law says one meeting a month is required. Yeah. Okay, just so everybody out there knows, it's one that's the requirement by law. You have to tell them that has to be once a month. The town board sets its uh, schedule, if you will, the organization will need here. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, if you say 7.30, right, you shouldn't be trying to beat the 7.30. I, I think the only thing that 
that might fall into an exception on that is if we do set a time for a public hearing, then we have to start the public hearing at the time. Correct. That's been, that's well, they should. Right. Yeah, right. Yes. But within, within the meeting itself. Yeah. Well, that's whoever the supervisor is has to govern and manage the workshop to, to end by 7.30. Right. Because that, yes. that's a good point, Betty. Um, it, it's interesting. Um, when I first floated this out on May 9th, I you know, said, hey, you know, this might be something that we look to going into 25, uh, seven months out. I, I've heard enough uh, enthusiasm about it from the town board members and subsequent conversations I've had that um, is it something, as I said here, are we, are we open to starting this schematic as early as August? I am. Uh, I am. I'm flexible, so it doesn't matter. Is August, uh, believe it or not, uh, the, two, the first and third Thursday is August 1st and 15th. Uh, yeah, August 1st and 15th. Um, I will say, I don't think there's any resolution that we can do because our board meeting said we are starting our regular town board meetings on the first and third Thursday of the month. At 7:30 p.m. We're not changing that. We are schematically changing when, if we have a workshop. We have a workshop. I, I would, I would suggest, just as a matter of protocol, that I speak just do a resolution regarding workshops. Okay. Since you did announce workshops yeah. at the organizational meeting, just say good point, Charlie. In the future, we're going to be doing this. Whatever you decide. So, with the June 20th board meeting. For the July 3rd, which is a Wednesday, by the way. You have a Wednesday, July 3rd, unless you guys want to come in on July 4th. And then we have our next regular town board meeting after that on Thursday, July 18th. Somewhere over those next three regular board meetings, we do a resolution that basically just articulates this is what we're doing as of August 1st on workshop. Um, I, I will tell you this, something we've been really committed to the last few years is, you know, our newspaper, our legal newspaper is the Webster Herald. We can talk to the cows come home whether a newspaper is the right medium for uh, where your town board agendas and, and, and that go. But that's the law, right, Charlie? Yeah, it's yeah, been yeah, around for 60 years. Newspaper, correct. Yes. And it was a law that was passed when the way that people consumed their news was a newspaper. I know that people don't consume their news as much as newspapers anymore. I don't think I have to tell people that. Um, but the law hasn't changed. So we comply with the law. Um, we send over an agenda uh, for our workshop and or our regular town board meetings. And we've committed to try and get it into the Webster Herald's Wednesday edition that is eight days before the meeting. Um, so like, for instance, I would imagine this workshop was in the uh, Wednesday, June 5th edition of the uh, Webster Herald, which people get in the mailbox at their house uh, on Thursday the you know, 6th and whatever. And that's one of the reasons why we said we can't put the agendas in in the Wednesday the day before, because people a lot of times would be like, well, I got home, I got my Webster Herald, I saw something that interested me. It was for that night. But not to belabor that point, it's something that Kim Doyle um, in my office, uh, in the supervisor's office, and I have, have committed to. And every action has a reaction. That is, that puts a lot of, we put a lot of pressure uh, on the department heads that, hey, if you got something you want a resolution about, you need to really get it to us about nine or ten calendar days before the town board meeting. Or if you want to do a presentation or something at a workshop, same thing, because of how we post it in the newspaper. Now, Bridget Harvey, who is our director of communications, um, will upload to our social media platforms and to our website those town board meeting agendas and those uh, town board workshop agendas. Because we are doing it eight, nine days before the meeting, we reserve the right, as you said, legally to change the agenda. 
agenda, add to it, delete to it. I think, Bridget, we really tried to get by the end of like Tuesday, like 48 hours before the Thursday meeting, we get the final uh, additions to the meeting and or deletions from the meeting. And I know we try not to piecemeal it, that we don't update it every day for six days and drive people nuts. And I think we've done a good job of that. Um, so from that standpoint, we already are kind of in rhythm of how to manage this. So we just would adapt it that, okay, guess what? Um, we don't have a workshop on Thursday, uh, August 15th. There is nothing that the town uh, department heads or outside uh, agencies have said they want to present. We would just do an agenda for a town board meeting at 7.30 that night. Conversely, if we have a workshop, uh, we can kind of move it around as far as 6.30 start or 7 o'clock start, you know. Um, we have that flexibility on the workshop. I don't want, I don't think we should have that flexibility on the 7.30 start of the regular board meeting. And Patty, you bring up a great point, especially if we have a public hearing that night. Well, and, and in the past, we've always had the ability to cancel workshops. And it's not, I don't want to say it's a common occurrence, but occasionally there's nothing going on. And Bridget will publish it several days in advance that there will be no workshop on uh, whatever the date might be. So, I don't see how that changes how we handle it at all. Well, no, and, the, and I don't want to take us down a rabbit hole. I can't think of a situation in the last couple of years when we decided in 22 and 23 that we're not going to have a workshop on the second and fourth Thursday of the month. We knew that eight, nine days before that date. We were sending to the Webster Herald. Yes. No workshop. Right, yes. And then I can't think of one situation where we, we, we sent it to the Webster Herald, no workshop eight days from now, and changed and scheduled workshop. No, not at all. And, and I don't think we would do that. No. What, I, what I'm saying is that we, we put in there that it's a 6.30 workshop, and we, we add, after we publish it, another agenda item to that workshop. I don't feel bad about moving maybe that workshop start to 6 p.m. That's, I guess, what I'm trying to say, is that there's flexibility on the workshop to try to time it so that the 7.30 meeting starts on time. Well, it can't start early, right, Cheryl? You can't finish your workshop at 7.06 and say, hey, come on, man, let's be efficient, let's start a regular board meeting. That's not how, that's not legal. I. I, I, I'll reserve the decision. I'll check it out. It's, I, it's I was, not good form. No, no, I agree. It's not good form. And, and what I was thinking about, and I'll, I'll look look into this, is whether or not, for example, you could have a public hearing earlier than the 730 meeting. We've done it. Yeah. Um, I know that, in, to, and by the way, part of this is also, and we talked about this on day 9, um, we've done public hearings at workshops that started at 530. Uh, criticism has come in, hey, I, I don't get out of work. I can't come to a public hearing. I would have liked to have spoken. It, it's a valid criticism. Uh, other criticism is, yeah, you jam in these uh, presentations and you know you do them at workshops so that the, um, the public can't take the podium for the five minutes open to the public. It's a valid uh, uh, criticism. Those things go away when you do the workshop about it up to a regular town board meeting because the, the, the citizen, and especially if you move the workshop to 6.30, the starting earlier at 5.30, you lose a little of that, and, hey, you started at 5.30, I didn't get out of work. Well, you gave it until 6.30. They can come into the workshop, they listen to everything, they watch the presentations. Maybe the spirit moves them that it's 7.30 for the regular board meeting. They want to take the podium rip off five minutes to talk about maybe what was said at the workshop. So there's a lot of, um, I don't know, there's a lot of things that are resolved, per se, uh, by doing it two nights uh, a month on the first and third Thursday. And it sounds like... Uh, I think your last comment with respect to people that come for the workshop and there's an item that's spoken about at the workshop, but they don't have an opportunity 
to chime in during the workshop, but when the board meeting starts, they can go to the, take the podium and comment. They don't have to wait until the next board meeting. So in my, my analysis of this, there's way more positives than there are negatives, in my opinion. I agree. The other thing, too, is it's not set in stone, right? If it doesn't work, we come back and we evaluate what works and it doesn't, we can revisit it. Well, as long as the as long as long the board meetings remain the first and third at 7.30, sure. if, the, if the workshops aren't working, you can always modify It's funny you should say that. that. Do you remember, remember when you are on the planning board and I would come in once a quarter for the quarter when the liaison meeting? Well, I just did the last two weeks the quarterly liaison meeting with zoning board and planning board. Um, and one of the topics, we only had two agenda items uh, for both of them this time, was, okay, we're, we're 18 months into the one meeting a month. How do you think it's working? Here's the stats that uh, we came up with, all this stuff. Part of that was we showed that over 18 months, both boards had two special meetings. They reserved the right to schedule a second planning board meeting in that month if the, the needs are there for it. Yep. And so they've done that. But, you know, over 18 months, they've had to do it twice at each board. That's not bad. I would imagine this board will probably have to schedule some special meetings. Um, it's not a fait accompli that starting on August 1st for the next 18 months that we only meet on the first and right. third Thursday of the month. Patty's been on the board the longest. They come up with special meetings. Fact. And I don't have any delusion that they won't come up in the future. We'll, we'll schedule on a third Thursday of the month for a special board meeting or something. Heck, we, we've got fifth Thursdays. Uh, We've done, four done us. We've done us. We did, did they happen mm -hmm. three times, four times? I don't know how often they happen, but we've we had yeah. we've had we we right? yeah. yeah. special yeah. meetings on the third. Yeah. I just want to know, by the way, and I know you've already said it, but I'll, I'll repeat. I, I think you could have public hearings outside of the seven thirty regular meeting. So, in other words, if you wanted to have a public hearing before the regular meeting, you could do that. So, I mean, if, it, if it's obviously a matter of high controversy. It would not be unusual, for example, to schedule it on a different day or yeah. schedule it. Yeah. So you could schedule it any time. That's what I'm saying. We usually do it in conjunction with the regular meeting for obvious reasons. But if it's something more wishes to do it earlier, if you're doing 6 30, 6 7 o'clock. Am I incorrect in understanding that you have to set the time that the public hearing will begin? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, the public hearing, because that's published. So right. that's, so that's, I, have, that's that is correct. Yeah. That once you schedule, you, are correct. you have to give right. the time for that. Correct. Right. 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 Yes. Okay. So public, the time and place yes. will be scheduled. It has right. to be published, and yes, and then you're, you're bound by that. Mm -hmm. Correct. But you're not bound to the organizational meeting that it has. To, it's seven thirty mm -hmm. on the first and no, third. No, no, no. As long as it's no, published no. in advance. No. And, and Jennifer, I, I, I don't have these stats off the top of my head. We have been mindful of if we've done public hearing on a workshop, second or fourth Thursday. I think we've moved the workshop to seven yet. It would be dirty cool to start a public hearing at five thirty. I think that is that's not a good look. You're you know, you are you potentially are losing people's ability to come into the room and talk. Supervisor, you hit it right on the head. It, it, it really should be at a convenient time. Yeah. Um, yeah, we don't lose any flexibility in this. Okay. So, um, I was just concerned to bringing this back to the board today because we all have recency bias. And, whoa! What a meeting last week, huh? Three hours and four minutes, Jenny. That's okay. It comes That's after the workshop, so it's fine. It's just an extra little bit. It's fine. Well, yeah. I want to point out too what the supervisor did last week, which was actually not only permitted, it was actually a good thing to do, was that he moved that light, agenda item to the end, he gave people the opportunity to leave because he knew this was a controversy, but also that he was telling the number of people. So that is, is permitted, and it's probably a good idea to do something like that. So. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Which I shouldn't have been accepted. <laughs> I, Kim and I talked yeah. on Friday. And, Poor man. You know, and Kim felt terrible. I'm like, why are you feeling terrible? Uh, we're learning as we go along. Yeah. And we'll, you know, we'll be close up to the we'll individual. The individual was very gracious. Yes. Yeah. So, anyway. All right. Well, I think we have our emergency orders from Charlie. And now you will either queue up for your last regular board meeting on June 20th or Deneen's first meeting on the 3rd or 18th of July to do some semblance of a resolution just to formalize it up that starting on August 1st you know, it's the board's plan to do um, first and third Thursday workshop 6.30 regular town board meeting 7. Okay. 